Now, so what is happening at Apiatena? We are told that a new site earmarked for the resettlement of the victims of the explosion there is nearing completion. As of this morning, roofing of the various shelters had reached an advanced stage. This is to help move the victim from their current temporary camp close to Apiate. The resettlement is under the supervision of the Prisiahuni Valley Municipal Assembly. And the MC for the area, Isaac Dasmani, joins us live with some updates. Good afternoon to you, Dr. Isaac Dasmani, and thanks so much for your time. Now, how many structures are being put up and, and for how many people? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let me take the opportunity to express my gratitude. You are still listening. Um, right now, we are working on 32 of the structures. And then the structure now comprises with three rooms, four rooms, and then in that order. And as I speak to you, roofing is far at advanced stage. The level is roughly about uh, nine rooms for us to complete, you know, the 32 rooms. And then uh, we have finished the, 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 the doors that we are going to use and then the the things that we are going to fix, and then the carpenters I speak to you this morning. The carpenters have started working on the on the on the frames, and then and then making sure that at least by the close of the month, because we're keeping ourselves as the first me, we should be able to move all of them temporarily because it's a temporary structure. I mean, so once we move it, then they will fix some basic. I mean, things they they will let them move in because the rain has set in and it's creating a lot of problems for us. So. We are working so seriously with the minister, and then the minister is also, we are in touch this morning, we had a chat. I mean, we are working to ensure that we get it done, and then by the close of the month, we will all of them, whilst we will concentrate on the actual construction of their, of their, of their, of their, of their new appearance. Well, well, so, so how many people or, or households are we looking at uh, moving into this new 32 uh, structures that you are, you are completing. Yes, for now, the exercises that we have, we have started taking a new data because, you know, once it happens, some of them are their the, 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 the new apartments, there's a new site, they have moved out of the place. So the people that currently we are looking at are about 110 houses that we are looking at. And then the, the rooms that are available now that we are also working on, they are about 120. So... We are still having some rooms that if anybody can I will still have some. So we are going to house those who are the camp there right now, and then probably when we finish, we take out the tent. And then we we'll continue I mean, working on the temporary structures when some families come, and then they will want to be there. Is there a deadline for this roofing? Yeah, you know, they are working on it. So we just want to complete everything by the end of the month. So as I speak to you, maybe by the close of this week, they will finish the roof. They are in love with the fixing because they are coming to the outside as I speak to you. I mean, I have the area photograph and everything that I can even send it over to you for you to have a look at it and what they, they have finished. So we are working seriously on it and then and then making sure that by the close of the week, yeah, I mean, because we have two companies who are on site right now, Pasco and then the, and the, the DPS, they are so on site as I speak to you right now. So mm -hmm. they are working seriously to finish all the roofing and then we'll think about fixing the doors and then the, 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 the frames and then the, the loose update by next week. And then at the close of next week, we should get it. So, so I, I assume uh, by end of this month, then these families will be moving into these structures, right? Yes, yes. We are planning, uh, our plan is the first May, the holiday, the first May. The, uh, I mean, the holiday that we plan moving all of them. Okay, excellent. Uh, once we have you, uh, what is the update on the actual reconstruction of the village itself, uh, the community, actually, if I should put but, uh, it? Yes, but I think that's one. The chairman is there, so I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I'll be glad if you could call the chairman for the reconstruction team, and, uh, and uh, that he will give you that. But, 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 but once, once you are the MC of the area, if you can just give us an, uh, give us an update of what's yes, happening Yes, because the, the ground work, they finish the ground work, and a lot of things have done, the structural work. And even the minister will be here tomorrow to meet, I mean, the concrete, those buildings that were, I mean, are still standing. The, the minister will be meeting the owners tomorrow at the night here, and they will see those that we can, we can, we can repair. And those were completely damaged, too, I know, because we have, we have, we have molded about close to about 70,000 blocks on site now. So there are a lot of things going on. But so I know the coming month, the actual reconstruction of that. Mm. All right, uh, uh, Doc, thank you so much for your time.